fish people, right? Today, we're talking about a very vital part of the fish business. Yeah, a couple of us taking advantage of the project going on here. Now, we're going to, oh, yeah. Where's my man? Mr. T. Now, uh, what we want to do is to unbox the vital component of the fish, fish business. And that's the air rate of the air blower. There's so many brands, but for a project like this, what you need is top end, which is the air blower. There's so many brands of it, that kind of thing. But it's one of the key things we sell at Mr. Fish, right? We get to the ones that are designed to last almost a lifetime. We've been selling this since the year 2000. And yet not a single customer has come back to say they have a problem with their blower. Isn't that amazing? And I can tell you something. Check with us first. If you want low, low price for the best, best of quality before you start going online or going going China. Just get to China. If you want to bring it down, God help you with the freight. This is almost the weight of over half a bag of cement. So calculate at over eight dollars per kilo now, will you? And they exchange you five hundred and forty. God help you. <laughs> so let's unbox. Yeah, T. Nice to have you here. It's a monster, uh, man. Yeah. So he's going to do this for us. Now, anybody who has a pond system, three by seven or less than that, but you have up to five units, then this is going to come up. But if you have less than five units, of course, you can see what they call air compressor, the quality ones. There are smaller versions of this that you can even use too. This one is the 750. We've got the uh, 380, and even yet a smaller one. But what's key thing about this product is that it does not get. Oh, let me go. Let me go. I can. It does not malfunction. I say, permit me to use that word. The crazy equipment in the fish world. So he's unboxing this one now. Be sure that's okay. Good. Okay. Now, now this is a unique uh, material. Okay. Oh, this one here already. Okay. Fine. Now, this is designed to probably stay here. Why? It's designed to suck air from the environment. The same one you are taking it now, 21% oxygen, and then push it out, straight on to the, go to the ponds. So while it's sucking, the nasty fellow, a cockroach, a nasty human being, or probably a small bird, or reptile, or, jabba, or a lizard, can decide to just venture a little bit, and the beautiful sound this makes, nice sound you know and they try to probe immediately suck in that's the only thing that can cause challenge in here so that's why this is made to prevent that from happening for you to come in through this you must you must be small enough so that that having said that now what we're going to do here is that you see there's going to be an outlet right you will see that they come manufactured with plastic outlets but because of the heat generated when this is installed you need something that can tolerate heat and that's why we have this in there and because the thing has to go up to distribute evenly on the system right we've got to make sure that uh, you have one that's curved so that the because the, the the heat generated becomes extensive at curved areas just like tires of cars actually feel the greatest pressure when they are going to the corner what kind of drivers know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Where are the corners? They back me, they talk, and the rest. So that goes up like that, the piping, and we create a cycle of pressure. Then before you know it, we now have the silica, the silicon uh, rubber to bring it down into what we call air stones, and then the air stones distribute the hair. What they distribute? The hair in the environment to actually increase the one that's been depleted in the, in the water. Like you always had me say several times that water had 80% oxygen. You that's terrestrial walking about, you have you breathe in 21% from the environment. Mostly in this environment that has a lot of a lot of palm trees and coal. Correct oxygen here. That's why the guys look strong and sharp. We want the fish to be strong and sharp too. So what happens is that once it's in water Water is dense, 16 times denser than here. So the oxygen is reduced to 8%. But it gets bad once you have water with you for about a day or two in any container at all. 
People at home, when you get home, just go to the kitchen where, you, where your wife stores water and then put your hand inside the bucket. Inside of the bucket, you know, like inside the pond here, you know. And then check your, you will see that it's slimy. What you scrape off is the bacteria. Billions of them, because they need the media to, to grow. And as they're growing, they're generating oxygen and they grow fast. So if you check with the dissolved oxygen meter, dissolved oxygen meter, you check what you have in there. You know how much percentage oxygen? From 21, we're down to 8, right? You know what we're down to? We're not down to 5% or 1%. Not even 0.1. Not even 0 0.10, uh, so 0 0.9. We're down to 0.001%. That's insane. So if you have that, I want to bring the fish to grow big. And the fish is made of protein, just like me talking to a made of protein. My flesh together with alcohol, the carbonate part. Now carbonate rate is CHO. Protein is CNO, carbon nitrogen oxygen. You know, that's a building block of amino acids that is protein. Now carbon is the food they are going to buy non-stop. Every farmer grown about the cost of food. Now you have nitrogen that is free in the atmosphere. Are you getting me? But somehow somehow it's mixed up with the water. And then you now have oxygen that is so little. That means the fish will not be able to convert the food that you have bought with your money to flesh appropriately. So what happens to your profit? It will be in soup. So to help, that is why you see many times catfish come up and down. In fact, that's why they're the choice fish. You know? So to prevent them from coming up and down anyhow, what you do is to make sure that the oxygen comes to meet them, at least to a larger extent. And we're coming to a level, viewers, when we're going to be using what they call liquid oxygen, oxygen cone, to give what we call liquid oxygen. I'm not talking of the medical cylinder used for coronavirus and the rest. No, no, no. Are you getting me? It's a cone that generates liquid oxygen. You know? You use it for expensive fishes like alibot and co. If you go to Europe, you see all of that there. But we're not going into that in Nigeria yet. But let's manage what we have. Now, I don't say use it for 24 hours a day. Why do you use it for 24 hours a day here? Even if it's for one hour a day, it's okay. So it enhances the oxygen and makes it easy for the food, fish to convert the food to flesh, making your cost of feeding, the conversion ratio, to be one to one as expected for fish. No color those terrestrial so like the pigs they have in this farm up there. I'll eat eight kilograms of food to get one kg of flesh. Am I clear in that area? I think that's I think that's that's some information for anyone to see that it's important. Now before I round up, there are three other things this thing does. You want to know? So number one is the oxygen. Number two, you know, catfish eat like they are ruffians in a birthday party. <laughs> Before takeaway plates came, you know, in those days we used to eat as a Yoruba man we called sara. There's a big bowl like that, the size of this chair. They put big rice. They have about four pieces of meat, and about seven guys stay beside it. Body language is enough to know that people like me who are weak and smallish, you don't have access to the meat. Now, in the course of the struggle. One quarter of the rice is down on the plate. How many of you could say that? I'm talking about the early 70s, right? So a lot of waste to go on. Before takeaway plates was invented, our parties now. Everybody have peace now, parties. Abi. Your children have peace at parties now, isn't it? But in the early days, you know how peace is warfare when you're going to parties. Warfare. The same old method is still happening in the fish pond. Where you have the, the area boys, sorry, the shooters, or you call the basketballers. You have the shooters, the area boys. You have the uh, gentlemen like me and you. We don't have the muscles, but then we have the brain. Some pizza like that. Then we have the laggards, those shortish ones, you know, the pygmies. Or we'll call it the, the dwarfs. Now, you know, you don't want a fish that is compromised in growth. You want anything from the shooter and the uh, area boys. When I say area boys now, if you're in Lagos, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you take a damn for boss and then you give them 500 naira. And then your money is just hungry. You have 400 naira to collect. God help you, the other passengers have gotten down before you get the final bus stop. And you have the conductor for change. Ah, he has forgotten already. If you have one word, change the whole. <laughs> Which change are you asking me? But because you saw his biceps belching, even the neck muscles are something else again. And you are there, like me, no biceps. And these guys don't carry dumbbells. Those are the ones I call the real boys. You know, you know your answer. Good day for even. 
you just abandon your chain so that I can have your teeth intact. That's what I mean by area boys. Right? We have that in the fish pond too. They rush your food first. Are you getting me? Then we have the laggards and the rest kind of. Now, the party stuff that we have in the, up in the fish pond, the rough party stuff, now that makes a lot of food to be wasted. About three to sometimes 10%. That's why everybody goes for floating food. Wants to go for floating food, which is not really compulsory. Once you know how to manage your feeding. Now, the moment you, you have waste food at the bottom, they need oxygen to digest. The digestion releases a gas called hydrogen sulfide. That's why you see those rotting egg smell in farms. In fact, that's the reason why in the early days they locate farms in the extreme outskirts, but agree and the rest kind of, you know, by the generals in those days. So that people don't talk about, even till now, some people are still using the old method, Asian method, and neighbors are complaining that they have a fish farm that's smelling. Oh my God. By the time this farm is finished, it will be a minus to sleep in your house rather than sleep in the farm here because of the ambience of the environment. So what happens now? The air blower with the air stone blows off the hydrogen sulfide. Right there. Escapes because it's a gas. Then of course you have the fish doing wee wee and poo poo inside the water too. Right? Now the wee wee is ammonia. If you don't know what they call ammonia, if you have been to a public toilet in secondary school, right? Or in a, in a shopping mall that is not kept very well. Is that the place you have a meat pie? Is that the place you start taking meat pie while you're doing your wee-wee? No, because the smell is pungent. It won't kill you, but it won't make you comfortable. Now, can you imagine fish about 2,000 are doing the same medicine here? They're not going to be comfortable. And the gas makes them turn off color because it's acidic. It's slightly acidic. So what the, AS to, the aeration does is to actually blow off the ammonia. So you have the smell, and that's why you have some gaps in between the roof, the roofing systems, you know? Now, if you don't have that here because of the compactness we're going to do what they call expirator what do you call that thing extractor. extractor yeah god bless you maybe about eight in here to extract the air out if at all because everywhere is going to be enclosed eventually and you're home so apart from increasing the oxygen hydrogen sulfide is off the rotten egg smell so you are comfortable to even make pick your living room and bedroom in here then three the uh, what's it called ammonia is gone regularly right and then number four, carbon dioxide produced too, is let off. Just like you open a, a, a bottle of Coca-Cola. Carbon dioxide, if you don't allow the carbon dioxide to go off and it goes inside you, what do you do? Like a ram. Oh, I don't even know how to do it. Can you belch? <laughs> you know, I'm not in the mood to belch now. I, I, that's what we know. So, with all that off, four things. I'm going to ask you. Is it necessary in a fish farm or not? Who you answer in the comments? So know those who are wise and those who are, I won't use the right word, you start with an F. <laughs> Mr. Fee is speaking from South Side Nigeria. 